Despite looking battle-ready, these Japanese troops and this military equipment are not for waging war. They are only for self-defense. That's because of Article 9 of the nation's constitution. Drafted after World War II, it's illegal for Japan to use any of its military might if it's not directly tied to defending its own soil or to help defend an ally. But this pacifist stance, some 70 years old, could be under threat. And in light of increased provocation by neighbor North Korea, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is increasing Japan's militarization. The Defense Ministry just requested its biggest budget in history. It is apparent that uh, the, the Abe administration has been undermining the, the restraint of Article 9 of the Constitution and uh, the, the, the threat or uh, fear to North Korea is a quite a useful tool for him. Prime Minister Abe's push away from pacifism has been part of his agenda since he entered politics and an issue he's continuing with, even though his popularity has declined and the majority of Japan wants the constitution to remain as it is. Many in the country see the anti-war stance enshrined in the constitution as more than just rules for military engagement. And peace activists have been campaigning for it to remain untouched. From all Especially in tense times when the issue can be exploited by those who want to alter it. Article 9 may have been partly imposed by the U.S., but it has endured political pressures. The people protect and support it. And that's why it's more than just an article. It is a national consensus, and it's part of people's identity. Yet there are groups with views on the other side of the issue. Some take to the streets of Tokyo to broadcast their message that the country needs an army that can attack. The self-defense force becoming a military is a given. We need to have our own weapons, not shared or sold by the United States, but made by us. Many people here may oppose the idea because Japan is the only nation that suffered from an atomic bomb. But in order to not repeat history, we need to have nuclear missiles. With the rising tension and fear of missiles flying over their territory, regardless of their stance on the role of the military, Japanese will train and prepare for the worst. Scott Heather, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.